Welcome to this video about regression analysis. In this playlist we'll explore what regression analysis is and why we need it. We'll take a deep dive into simple linear regression and multiple linear regression and finally we will discuss logistic regression in detail. This video is the first of the four in this series. If you like, you can find the content of this video in our book Statistics Made Easy. So let's get started with the first question. What is a regression analysis? A regression analysis is a method for modeling relationships between variables. It makes it possible to infer or predict a variable based on one or more other variables. Let's say you want to find out what influences a person's salary. For example, you could take the highest level of education, the weekly working hours and the age of a person. You could now investigate whether these three variables have an influence on the salary of a person. If they do, you can predict a person's salary by taking the highest level of education, the weekly working hours and a person's age. The variable we want to infer or predict is called the dependent variable. The variables used for prediction are called independent variables. Depending on your field, independent variables may also be called predictor variables or input variables, while the dependent variable might be referred to as the response, output or target variable. Ok, but when do we use a regression analysis? Regression analysis can be used to achieve two goals. You can measure the influence of one variable or several variables on another variable or you can predict a variable based on other variables. Let's go through some examples. Let's start by measuring the influence of one or more variables on another. In the context of your research, you may be interested in understanding the factors that influence children's ability to concentrate. Specifically, you aim to determine whether certain parameters have a positive or negative impact on their concentration. But in this case, you're not interested in predicting children's ability to concentrate. Or you could investigate whether the educational level of the parents and the place of residence have an influence on the future educational level of children. This area is therefore very research-based and has many applications in social and economic sciences. The second area, using regression for predictions, is more application-oriented. To get the most out of hospital occupancy, you might be interested in how long a patient will stay in the hospital. So based on the characteristics of the prospective patient, such as age, reason for stay and pre-existing conditions, you want to know how long that person is likely to stay in the hospital. Based on this prediction, bad planning can then be optimized. Or as an operator of an online store, you are very interested in which product a person is most likely to buy. You want to suggest this product to the visitor in order to increase the sales of the online store. Second point is highly application oriented, focusing on making predictions to enhance efficiency. Ok, great. Now there are different types of regression analysis. There is the simple linear, multiple linear and logistic regression. In simple linear regression, we use just one independent variable to predict the dependent variable. For example, if we want to predict a person's salary, we use only one variable, either if a person has studied or not, the weekly working hours or the age of a person. Multiple linear regression, on the other hand, uses several independent variables to predict or infer the dependent variable i.e. the highest level of education, the number of hours worked per week and the age of the person. Therefore, the difference between a simple and a multiple regression is that in one case only one independent variable is used and in the other case several. Both have in common that the dependent variable is metric. Metric variables are for example the salary of a person, the body size or the electricity consumption. In contrast, logistic regression is used when you have a categorical dependent variable. Categorical variables are, for example, 
if a person is at risk of burnout or not, if a person is diseased or not, or type of animal. However, the most common form of logistic regression is the so-called binary logistic regression. In this case, the outcome variable is binary, meaning it has two possible values like yes or no, success or failure, or diseased and not diseased. Therefore, in linear regression, the dependent variable is a metric variable, while in logistic regression, it is a categorical variable, also known as nominal variable. But what about the independent variables? In all cases, the level of measurement of the independent variables can be nominal, ordinal or metric. Okay, actually in regression you can only use categorical variables with two categories or levels, such as gender with male and female. In this case, we can code one category with zero and the other with one. However, if a variable has more than two categories, like vehicle type, there's an easy solution. We create dummy variables. Don't worry, we'll explain more about dummy variables later in this playlist. Okay, a quick recap. There is the simple linear regression. A question could be, does the weekly working time have an impact on the hourly wage of employees? Here we only have one independent variable. There is the multiple linear regression. Do the weekly working hours and the age of employees have an influence on the hourly wage? Here we have at least two independent variables, in this case weekly working hours and age. And the last case, logistic regression. Do the weekly working hours and the age of employees have an influence on the probability that they are at risk of burnout, where burnout at risk has the categories yes or no? Now we have a good understanding of what regression analysis is. In the next video we'll dive into linear regression. So see you there in just a moment.